This company specializes in remolding commercial truck tires. The worn out tire is called a casing. This is a cross section. That steel reinforcement rod called the bead won't be replaced, but most of the rubber around it will be, along with most of the tread area. The steel belts underneath the treads, those dots, will remain. They begin the remolding process by thoroughly inspecting the casing to determine whether it's indeed salvageable. They consider its age, whether it's had repairs, they examine the steel components to make sure they haven't rusted. If the casing passes inspection, it moves on to the buffing machine. There, sharp blades spinning at high speed shear off most of the worn out rubber tread. Buffing prepares the surface so that the new rubber will adhere well and stand up to road friction. Buffing takes about six minutes per tire. It leaves about two and a half millimeters of tread on the casing. Now they use a tool called a skiver to shave off any imperfections. A rubber tire is like a car windshield. Even the smallest crack can spread outward, so it has to be stemmed. After excising problem spots, they smooth them with a grinding stone. Then they repeat the buffing, skiving, grinding procedure on the sides of the casing. But they use a less abrasive grinding stone because the sides don't need such aggressive treatment. Unlike the tread area, they won't be subjected to road abrasion. Now using a drill, workers remove dirt and rust from each spot. Then they work the area some more with a grinding wheel so that the rubber they'll use to patch it will adhere properly. Now they glue the patch from the inside with rubber cement, pressing out any air bubbles with a roller to ensure full contact. Workers can now start rebuilding the tire. They feed a rubber strip into a machine called an extruder. First it heats up the strip, making it malleable. Then it wraps it onto the casing, building up anywhere from two to four layers, depending on how thick the customer wants the tire to be. That depends on several factors. For instance, how much traction the tire needs to have, and whether the truck will be doing mostly local or long distance driving. Now they apply a wider rubber strip to the sides, building up one to three layers, the choice again depending on the customer's thickness needs. Using a perforating roller, they release the trapped air. This enables the layers to adhere well. Now they sprinkle the tire with rubber powder, residue from the buffing. This will prevent the tire from sticking to the mold. The mold consists of sections, which allows it to open wide enough to receive the tire. The backward lettering inside will imprint the remolding company's brand name on the tire. The mold applies about 100 kilograms of pressure as well as heat, 160 degrees Celsius. This fuses the molecules in the old and the new rubber, a chemical reaction called polymerization. Once the mold closes to begin this process, a tube inflates with air and fills the void. This provides counter pressure so that the tire doesn't get crushed. Molding time is anywhere from an hour to an hour and a quarter per tire, depending on the thickness. After extracting the tire, workers remove the seams of excess rubber with a special comb. This remolded tire is now ready to hit the road at considerable cost savings. Depending on the size and type, a remold is 30 to 60% cheaper than a new tire.